Hey guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? So I am coming to you guys um, because I wanted to bring um, a couple ideas to you that I have. But if before we get into the video, if you could please um, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It really helps the sister out. I appreciate you guys. Um, so I wanted to, today's video, I wanted to do um, large bears. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I decided to do with some of the large bears. Now, I, I didn't use all the same designs, so there's multiple designs. So, um, watch the video, stay to the end, um, because we have some good designs. Um, I'm going to do three of the large bears on the video today. Um, and then I'm going to do a couple other really cool, really cool, um, gift ideas okay so before we get into the video i wanted to um show you guys or actually show you know, show you guys these balloons i made um these are just the foil tin balloons that i ordered from amazon and what i did was i took let me tell you what inspired this what inspired this balloon was i did Quite a few baskets with bouquets, candy bouquets, flower bouquets, and um, and with balloons in them. And I looked at the balloons and I was like, hmm, I'm kind of, you know, tired of making the flower bouquets. So I said, I can do something with this. So instead I can do something instead of making a fire bouquets um, and putting them in a basket the Valentine's baskets as well as Mother's Day baskets you want to bring flowers you want to bring sweets you want to bring balloons you want to bring bears um, especially Valentine's Day you want to bring bears um, and I'm trying to stay and stick with the theme which is Valentine's Day um, Yes, we make baskets for other occasions. Yes, you can put whatever you want to put in your baskets. Um, and, and nine times out of ten, most of them are going to sell no matter what you put in your basket. Um, but um, but you do want to stay, you know, for the season, you want to stay on that, that season. I'm not going to sell a Christmas basket for Valentine's Day, of course. But um, so with all that being said... I wanted to use the balloons and the flowers together. So this is how I incorporated it. So what I did was I took a piece of tape, like, you know, like packing tape or regular tape. And you're going to uh, place a couple, well, if it's the packing uh, tape, it's wide. So you're just gonna place one strip down on this side of the balloon, right? Then you're going to take your flowers and your hot gun. Now, what the tape does is it protects the foil from burning, from, from the hot glue burning it. So, and you're just going to hot glue whatever flowers you want on there. Now, when you, let me show you something. Um, okay, let me grab a flower. So say you're using these flowers here, right? When you take this, this off, it has a little ridge. You're going to snip that ridge with your scissors. Um, yeah, just snip, snip that ridge right there. Snip it with your scissors so that it's, you got a flat surface. And then you're going to take your hot glue. And then you're going to make sure you don't touch the foil though with the hot glue. You won't have a balloon. But take that, after you put the hot glue on here, take it and just place it on the tape that you laid down first. And just continue on. And with this balloon, and with the pattern that I wanted to, to, to use, was I wanted to come this way. I want to come this way. So it gives it that effect. Now, if I took some hot glue and I just placed balloons all, all around, it's going to look a hot mess. So, you just want to focus on one area, which is the left side or the right side, and just do this little area. Um, 
Yeah, so cool trick. They're not coming off. And, and it should last. Okay, guys. So let me go in and show you the first basket, large basket that I came up with. I'm place this back because I don't know what I'm going to use these for. Okay. So I have a gift set. And let me take this down. So I have a gift set. I jazzed it up a little bit by putting some of the window clings on here. They stick pretty well. You don't have to wet them. You don't have to do anything. Just prop them right on there. So I jazzed it up by just placing the window cling on there. Okay. Um, just to give it the Valentine's Day feel. I think that's where I wanted to go. Um, and if it's not sticking, let me show you a trick. If you can't get the window clean to stick, um, clean your surface. I should have did that first. Then you're going to wipe the back of the clean and it'll stick. Now it's, st it's stuck there. It's stuck. So yeah, we're going to use this. Then, so we're going to use this. Um, What is this? This is the Betsy Johnson gift set. It has a robe in here. It has a body lotion. Said you like stimming stimulating massager so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool i got this from burlington's um this year um during one of my little burlington hauls so i'm gonna play you don't want to place this on the floor because it's kind of big and we are going to use this guy he is pretty pretty big he ain't tall tall but he fat um you see how big he is compared to me. Um, he's pretty fat. He's a fat guy. But we're going to use him. And he came from Walmart. So I'm going to, I guess, you know, take the whole tag off. And we're going to use him. But what, what else we are going to use is this box. Um, this week, Dollar General had their boxes on sale for a quarter so this box it comes with a nice lid but it's a Christmas lid so I can't use the lid lid right now I'm gonna use that lid though but not today just taking the price tag off this box was originally six dollars let me take the price tag off um, we are going to use this now with those same cleans I can go in and clean the box like let me show you And it'll stay. It will stay. So I'm gonna wipe my surface. And if you like it to really, really stay after you um, place it on the box, let's just say, hmm, see this one. This one's cute. So I got these um, cleans. You can get these cleans from Dollar Gen. I mean, just about anywhere. Dollar General. Anywhere has these little clings. So, yeah, that's how you would clean that box out. So, I think I'm going to leave that on there. It's kind of cute. Um, and it ain't coming off. But if you want to make sure, like, look. If you want to make sure it's not going to come off, just put some tape. piece of tape on it to hold it. Um, a piece of clear tape. So, we have the box. And simple. This is so simple. Simple, simple, simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bear. I'm not stuffing it. I'm putting my bear in my box. I'm not stuffing this box. Take my prayer card. Slide that underneath him. Now I got to put my prayer card in there. 
Okay, so now we got him. Then we are going to give him this. So let me see here how we're going to do this. So I got my good fox in there. I'm going to put him in there just like so. So let me see how he looks. Okay, we want to make him look like he's holding it. So, twist him just a little bit. He's cute. He's cute. Okay, so now we got that. Now we need a. Yeah, I see ya. Now we need a balloon. And how we get this balloon to stay is I'm going to give me a piece of the clear packing tape. Security, I call it, and I'm gonna secure this to the box, to the back of the box, just the height that you want. I think I want this to come down a little bit, like right there. And I took some curling ribbon and just tied around the um, balloon. And let me see here. So he's cute, and I like I like the way that looks. Um, I could position him a little bit better though. Probably position him just like this. Um, which I need to get me some here. No, I can do it this way. Let me see. I don't, um, I guess you can take fishing line and secure his, his hands with it, but I don't have any, so we're gonna improvise. And let me see here. We're just going to use this um, garland wire. So you can improvise too. So all I'm doing is taking the garland wire, twisting it around his, his arm. Um, and you can use whatever you want to use. Um, or whatever and then I'm gonna take my packing tape and I'm just gonna take the and tape the garland wire down try to be inconspicuous though what it? and I'll do the other arm just like so too actually yeah, a little bigger piece. Um, get this other arm. So all I'm doing is wrapping it around there. It's just a little wire. Twisting it. Then I'm gonna secure that right on there. So when you position positioning your bears and your items. Um, having the bear hold the item gives uh, an illusion of this bear giving you a present. Um, just like the position of the bear um, means a lot because if I just place that bear right behind the, the thing, of course, the person get it, you know, receiving the, the gift is, um, you know, they like, oh, I got a beer, you know. But if you, the placement of the item is very important. So, and I think that this is cute. This is definitely cute. Okay. So that's one gift, guys. Um, I'm going to go in and um wrap this with cellophane um 
Um, and I think this came out cute. What do you guys think? I think it came out cute. I think it came out real cute. He is too cute. I'm not putting chocolate in this basket. Um, yeah, I think some of my baskets not going to have chocolate. And this is going to be one of them. But he is way too cute. And this is a way you can use these boxes. Let me show you another one. Um, just taking them down. Because I'm going to wrap them so it's cute down here. And I might wrap them on camera. So let's go for the next one. So we are going to be using this guy. He stands up. Thought he was cool. He was too cool. Take his price tag off. Um, let's just figure out what, what I can do with him. Um, initially I was like, well, maybe I'll take the hearts off. No, 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 no. I will be messing this bear up. Uh-uh. I was like, maybe I could put something else in his arms. No, leave, I'm leaving these right here. So we're using him. I'm going to bring him down for a second. He's pretty heavy because he stands up. He has weight to him. And we are going to be using one of the rose boxes. Um, and this box in particular has the sparkling, the Welch's Sparkling Rose um, grape juice. It has flowers. It has two glasses that, let me see. I did a video on this one, but I think I want to take some stuff out, so I'm going to open it up anyway. Um, actually, I don't really have to take nothing out. So, I can put the candy in the wine glasses. Okay. Let's see here. One over there and one over there. This is the Hershey Nuggets. It's wrapped, so it don't matter that I'm touching it. Um, and I'll take a Ferrero Rocher and stick at the top. Okay, so that's cute. That's cute. Um, well, that's a good idea. Um, but what we have in this box is just place I got one of the bakery boxes rose boxes and I placed um, the shred down there and I placed the the what is it foam roses that you can get from Timu Amazon I placed that so I'm gonna place this back so that's what's all in this basket so I'm gonna place this right back in here But since that beer is black, I want to switch this ribbon out. It's a pretty ribbon, but I'm switching it out. And excuse me, guys. My little thing got a little haze on it. I don't know why. Okay. So I can close this right back up. So I'm gonna grab um, some of the Just For You ribbon, or I could grab this black ribbon. Where's that black ribbon at? I got some polka dot black ribbon, too. Um, that would be perfect for it. Let me grab the Just For You ribbon, guys. I'll grab both of them. Okay, guys. So here is this. So this is the black ribbon, I, the polka dot ribbon I was talking about. I could use because the bear is red. So I mean, not red, black. And this isn't a wired ribbon. And that's why I'm considering using it because it's not wired. That's cute. 
I think I like this better than I like the, um, yes, better than I like the Just For You. I think I'm going to make a couple with, the, with this ribbon, but not right now. We're going to use it Just For You. I want to use that, though. I really do. And, okay. So, I need to make my way over to Dollar General and get me some of them 25 cent scissors. So, I'm on to jazz this up. Just gonna cut me a slit. So, take me a piece of tape. And just tape that down on the side of the box. Um, what, by cutting this off, it kind of saves your on ribbon. Um, let me see here. So I'm just gonna take this right here. Actually, I want it to come a little bit farther in. Take the other side. See? Just a little just a little sliver of this ribbon goes a long way. But I am going to tie it. Something going on here. This box is protruding a little bit more than I. One or two. I think that's the way I'm placing these cups. Oh, okay. They need to be turned to the side. Okay. Because these cups is um, heart shaped. They're cute. They came from Target powder spot. So I guess this is, okay. okay. It was making the, bag, the box a little fat. So now I'm going to just tie it just for you around there. And I'm not going to make a bow. I'm just going to tie it. I mean, you could make a bow, but that's not what I'm going to do today. Okay. Like that. And the top is a little longer than the bottom. Just cutting it at an angle. Let me move this stuff. And the next thing that we use it is okay, another one of the boxes that I got from Dollar Dollar General. Got my prayer card in here, and I'm also going to use this gift set. This gift set came from Rite Aid. It's the raw sugar. Um, I just wanted to throw some extra in here, so I'm just putting this right here. I'm going to turn it to the back so that they can see it from the back, what it is. Because once I place the beer in there, you won't be able to see. Okay, so we got him here. And then I'm going to take my rose wine box and just place it right in the box. Right next to him. And let me see here. I'm sorry, guys. So I can place this up 
next to him, actually. Just like that. And I can actually lean this back on the gift set. Yes, that's how I want that to go. And that's pretty. Um, steal this balloon. Show you guys what it looked like with the balloon. So you're going to get a, make another balloon. You just place the balloon in there too. That's what he would look like. The beer says stand up. So that I'm probably going to put a, uh, I know I'm going to put a balloon in this one. But that came out cute. It came out real cute. Can y'all see that? That's cute. Okay, so that's um gift number two with the um the large bears. So let me move this balloon. And this one is real cute. I love this one. Love, 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 love this one. So this is an idea of what you can do. Um, make sure. Here's another red box. It's another clear card. This guy right here. Got a few of him. So him. We're gonna put it, we gonna pair him with a gift set. We are going to pair him with this gift set here. This gift set is the Nanette. And I got this from Burlington's. Um, and it has the body wrap, some lotion, some body wash, a, what do you call it, a bath bomb, and a, what is it, loofah, bath scrub, or whatever. So, I'm going to turn him. You're going to put him. So remember I said placement. We were talking about placement. You want to you want to make him hold. You want to have him holding this gift. So we'll do the same here. So we'll do the same as we did with the last gift set. We'll make him make it look like he's holding it. Um and it yeah, will make it look like he's holding it. And then we are going to, this basket, we are going to put chocolate in it. So I took my window clings again, put the I love you on the front of here. Um, this can come off. And then I took one of the large boxes of the Russell Stovers. Um, you can still find these at Ross's if you have a Ross. And I think they're $5, $4.99 at Ross. I got these from Walgreens. Um, and they were a little bit more pricey. Um, I think they were $7 and some change. So, um, and I, I bling this one out too. I put, you know, the window cleans on here just to give the box a holiday feel. Then I'm going to put place this over here. Um, place this somewhere in here. Probably, I want to place it to where you can see it. So you can't see it. Okay. Okay. Okay, there you go. So we're going to have him peeking around the box. Placement, 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 people. So, yes. So, placement is important. Play with your placement. And I think I'll have him hold in the box right there. Um, and I can actually secure that now. Let's see here. Just with my little garland tape. Not garland tape. Garland wire. I'm going to wrap it around his arm. Pull it, pull it in, and place it 
place it exactly where I want it to go. So you can barely see the, the, the wire garland. I wish I had some fishing string though. Okay, and I'm gonna tape that up there. And I'll take this other arm and place it also. See what I'm doing, so I'm gonna have to turn this around for a second. And on the side of the box, it has a glittery, uh, glittery, what do you call it? Glittery, um, surface. So the tape wasn't trying to stick to it. So I gotta tape it to a part that's not glittery. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And I'll do this other um arm. Okay. So this box of chocolate is moving. I'm just gonna get a piece of tape and tape it. Tape it down so that it don't move. Now if I sat him behind it there, he wouldn't move, but Space where he is, there is no, um, nothing in front of it. I could take a piece of something and put right there. Okay. That's cute. Um, this other arm, I can do that real fast because I'm, I'm going to wrap these as soon as we, as soon as I'm done here. I just... Didn't want to wrap them all on the camera. Because I know I talks. So. I'll take my other. I just took another piece of. um. What do you call this stuff? Um, garland wire. But y'all would think I, I would have fishing wire. We have a boat. My husband fishes all the time. I don't know why I don't have no fishing wire. He has his boat wrapped every year, which means um, they wrap it, they seal it. Okay, so he cute coming around me. Yeah. So I think that's cute, guys. And I would just go in and wrap it. Um, I'm not placing any shred in here. I'm not placing anything in here um, except for the items that you see. Um, and he will be wrapped with, um, he can be wrapped with cellophane or, uh, shrink wrap bag. Um, because I have this up here and it's kind of higher than him. Um, but then again, no, I don't think I, I would use a shrink wrap bag because he kind of saw it. Um, but this is cute. This is really, really cute. This is cute. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to bring this one down and come up. So that's the three large baskets. But I wanted to show you guys. Oh, yeah. And this basket right here, I'm going to put this in there, too. Have them holding it or something. Um, so let me put this back over here. Um, I wanted to show you guys some other things that you can do with those large um, boxes of chocolate. Um... So I have another large box of chocolate. I have another one of these boxes um, that I got from Wall. I mean Dollar General. I'm just gonna remember to take this tag off. Price tag. This box was originally five dollars. So quarter. That was a that was a steal. So I'm going to use him. I am going to put my prayer card in there. Um, I think I want him. Oh, I already know what I want. He's going to be holding this here. 
price tag is still on. I got this from, now you can get this set. I got to take this off, y'all, because I'll forget. It's the price tag. And I'll forget, and then I'll get the basket. Be like, she paid $12.99 for those slippers. No, we're taking this off. Okay, good enough. So, I wanted to stick with the color scheme here, um, which is brown. Quick, simple, easy. Do him in a box. I'm going to use one of these bears, actually. Let me see. Placement, placement, placement. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I'm placing the bear to the side to look like he's holding the box. The slippers, then I am going to take the chocolate in place behind the bear. So see, we got we have like a this is like a stair step placement, placement, placement. Okay, that's how the eyes gonna fall. Move him over a little bit so you could get it so you could see him. Got him just chilling. And we are going to give him one of these balloons. We got chocolate candy and flowers. So, and that's where that's going to go. And that looks cute. I like it. I'm definitely going to wrap this with, um, you know what? I can get away with any, this one also. Since the height of the chocolate is so far up from the bare you could, and then the bare recesses back. I'm going to take that down. The bare recesses back. Let me see. The bare recesses back. So when I shrink wrap it, it's going to go just like this, and it's not going to touch them. I'm going to make sure I don't um, put a hole in the shrink wrap to release the air, unless it's a lot, a lot of air. Um, but by not putting a hole in it, um, you still have an ear pocket in there that'll protect them. Also, when you are shrink wrapping, you're going to push the air that way. So shrink wrap the, actually, I, well, shrink wrap this way around the bottom, all the way around, right? And then when you do this side first and then come around, push the air back over there with the, with the, the gun. Um, and that will protect the bear from not being smashed when you're shrink wrapping it. Okay, just a little tip, but I'm going to place this in here now. And there's just two more um, baskets, guys, I want to show you guys. But this is another thing that you can do with the with the, uh, the bear. Um, you These big boxes of chocolate, you don't need to pair them. You don't need to pair them with a, a large bear. Um... You can pair them with a smaller bear and what the smaller bear does is it um makes the the, the box of chocolate look even more bigger than what it is even though it's a pretty large box of chocolate um but sitting next to the bear it looks bigger okay so we're gonna put this place this right here i'm gonna take this right in the box up underneath his head and that's it cute 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 i don't think i want this this here i don't think i want the tag on the bear okay and then just to double secure this from moving just a couple things i could do um but i could take a piece of cardboard but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna tape it in the front and on the side, that way it won't move. But once you wrap it, it definitely won't move. And that's it. Well, it's it's moving now because I'm. It need to be. 
in the back. But okay, so that's that's what that would look like. Okay, guys, I'm gonna hold this down. Just a couple more guys, a couple more. So I am challenging myself. So this is a little girl's basket right here. We are going to use the mini waffle maker. I already positioned it, but I just, I just, um, I don't know, I'm gonna take this tag off first. But this one, I wanna get, I wanna use this fluff I got. I got pink shred and I also have fluff. So I think I wanna use the fluff. Um, got my credit card. So this fluff came from Walmart during one of their sales. This one got some sprinkles in it. So I just want to give this basket, since it's a little girl's basket, teenage basket, little girl basket, whoever they want to give it to, I want to give it that soft, soft feel. So I'm just going to cut a piece of this, not tear, I'm going to cut it, because this is the kind you can cut. I'm going to cut enough to go right in this box. Looks like the glitter falling off of it, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to put this back. Yes, the glitter is falling all over it, off of it. I'm going to slide this right back in here. I'm going to get another garbage bag. Put this in the garbage bag since the glitter is falling out off of it. It might be all right. Take the glitter off of her. I kind of could have left it though. But I don't want the glitter on my table. Okay. I'm just collecting glitter. Putting it right in the box. Okay. Now I'm just going to line it. I think they just took this fluff and sprinkled some glitter in the bag. And shook it up and called it a day. Because this glitter is everywhere. Then I put my bear back in here. Oh, she cute. What is she? I don't know what she is. What is she? Poodle. She's a poodle. Put her back in here. I think I want her to come over here. So we position in our items. Um, I'm going to use a throw blanket that got glitter on it. So just place it. Make sure this don't have no price tags. Placing that so you can see that. Um, right there. Then I have one of these bowls that came from Dollar Tree. And I have one of the tablecloths. So that the little girl can clean up her mess. And I'm just gonna roll that up. was handy. Very handy. No, because that's going to... I could. I was about to say it's because it's going to block the picture, but it's not. We, we repurpose and use everything around here. Yes, yes, yes. I remember this came off of, um, came off of that wine box. And I'm just putting this at a slant. 
this um, satin ribbon, so try to be careful. Okay, that's cute. Stick that right in there. And this bowl, I'm going to bring in the back. position in our items. I'm going to put the blanket inside the bowl and I'm going to stick my candy. I thought the cute little terrier candy. Stick that right in there. My prayer card in here. And, and she is done. And she is so cute. That is cute. I'll probably play with the placement of, of this one a little bit more. Um, she don't want to stand up. I could move her right here. Her, hand, her hands to here. Not glue, but you know. Secure it. But she is cute. And this is all this vessel is going to get. Um, and I think it's really cute. I may go in with just to give it, I'm probably going with the balloon for this one also. Um, yeah, I'm probably going with the balloon for this one also. To give it a little Valentine's Day feel. Okay, so this is my little girl's um, gift basket idea using the waffle maker. Um, I figure they can buy their own. Uh, sorry, y'all, I'm cheap. Their own pancake mix, waffle mix, and syrup. Okay, one last basket, guys. Then I'm going to let you guys go. So, if you're out there, you needed some ideas on what to do with some, um, if you wanted to do some of this sparkling cider. So, this is what I did with my sparkling cider. I went in and I took one of the gem sheets you can get from any crafting store, anywhere, anywhere, Michaels, Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, and I blinged it out. Um, and I think it came out cute. So we're going to use that. also have some of these glasses. I got this from a gift shop. It says, um, relax and unwind. That's the wine glass. And then rise and grind. That's the mug glass. These are so cute. I got two sets of these. These are cute. Um, you're also going to use another balloon. I did the same thing as I did with the pink balloon. Glue those flowers on there. I think flowers and wine go together. And I'm going to take uh, another box, and we're going to use that. Um, so in this gift, in this gift, I need I wanted to use the pot of gold, but I needed the pot of gold to sit up because um, where I'm placing it at is kind of like behind the bear. So show you guys. So I wanted to go here wanted to go here so I'm going to so what I did was I took it and I put it on cardboard and you can take another box um you could take whatever a box probably would be better but because of the surface of this I couldn't really place the box in here because this bear sits snug in here um he fits snug in here so I am going to secure this so I just use secure tape and take the cardboard. And I actually had to use two of these pieces of cardboard because the box of uh, chocolates is heavy and then I don't want it to lean. So I do have my secure tape. So I'm going to secure that right now. And you want to be you want to make sure that you you secure with it. You want to make sure that you use a secure tape. 
when you're doing any, you know, this type of method. So I'm going to sit him back right here so he can hold it for a second. While I get my other piece of tape. So I'm applying some, a generous amount of tape because I don't want this to move. And it is the secure tape. But I, I wanted to elevate that box of chocolates. Okay. Now this is secure, secure. Not going anywhere. At least not to after Valentine's Day. Okay, so we got that in there. And then I'm going to throw my glasses in here. Do got my prayer card in here. Now I got the meta tilt. Got him right here. Okay. I want to make sure my glasses stay tilted like that. So I'm going to make sure they do by putting um, the secure tape there. And then his foot is holding the bottom also. Then I don't want it to move. So I'm Placing the tape to make sure it doesn't move. Um, in transit. Okay, so here's my prayer card. So, I'm going to place my prayer card right here. Because you can see the cardboard. You can't really see, but... I'm going to place it on the cardboard so you don't see it. See the cardboard. Actually, because you could just barely see the cardboard, so I'm placing right here. Okay, and um, for my wine, before I put my wine in, I am going to go get some spread. So I think I'm gonna go in with brown because the the bottom of the inside of this box is brown. I want the straight to blend in. And I'm placing this straight in here because I'm placing, actually, because I'm placing the wine down. I'm going to secure the wine first. So I'm placing the wine in the corner of the box. You can't really see that, but I'm going to take this um, take this down too. And actually... I can do this trick too. Um, hmm, yep, I can do this trick. I'm gonna get me some silver. What do you call this stuff? Curling ribbon. Get silver or gold. I'm gonna get silver though. Since my bling bling is a silver. So taking my curling ribbon just to secure this. This is just one of the things that I'm going to do to secure this um, bottle down. I'm just tying it around here and then I'm going to take a piece of and I'm going to take a piece of tape and tape it to the, tape it to the side. I'm also going to go in and secure it by I'm, I'm just I'm just built like this. I don't know why I have to secure everything. See, you know, secure everything. It's just something I do. Probably I learn from experience. And I don't, you know, I don't, um, I don't want to have to repair anything when I'm out here selling it. I don't want to have to replace anything because I broke it or somebody else broke it. This year, I don't know. I'm not letting people pick up the gifts because the gifts um, are heavy and because a lot of the gifts are heavy 
Um, some of the gifts are wrapped in cellophane. Them picking it up, turning it around, looking in. No, I don't, no, I'm not gonna let you do that this year. Um, I'm learning. I'm learning. Don't pick them up. And I'm I'm not biting my tongue. Um, this year, and I'm not being nice. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be nice, but. I'm not letting them pick the gifts up this year. That's not going to happen. Because like I said, um, the gifts are heavy. Um, and you can base it wherever I'm going to place it. Either I'm going to pick it up for you and show you what's in it. But you're not picking it up and holding it. Ain't, I'm, we're not doing that this year. Not, I'm not doing that this year. Not doing that at all. If I got to take my um, Lazy Susan out there, place it on the table, and turn it for you, that's what I'm going to do. But... I'm not letting them pick up the pick the gifts up no more. That was not a good idea. Not a good idea. Cause they dropped the gifts, they puncture the gifts, they damage the gifts. Um, no, that wasn't a good idea. But okay. <laughs> so here's this gift here, guys, and we do have a balloon. Oh, it fell on the floor. Y'all already know me. Let me just grab the balloon. Oh, the balloon sets this off too. So I'm just going to stick that right in there. I'm going to tape that down right now. Um, and this, this particular one will not be getting a big balloon. It's just going to get the balloon that you see. I got to glue that. I should glue that this down. That's it. I'm going to glue that it over here. I think I'm blocking my own, blocking my little wine. Okay. But it came out to you guys. What do you guys think? Thank you guys so much for coming in my kitchen. Making these baskets with me. That ain't working. Um, I'm working with me today. I really, really appreciate you guys. Okay, that's on here. I don't plan to revisit this. And that's cute. Uh-oh. Okay, I can't tilt it really, but um, the brown shred down here really sets it off. It looks really, really cute. I may go in and do a video of this basket before we, before I um, wrap it, just so you guys can see how the, the um, black, I mean, the, the brown shred looks down there. Um, like I said, I can't tilt it. But let me move this out. Well, actually, no. Let me not move this out the way. Um, as y'all know, my husband said I keep taking the baskets off at the end of the video. Don't let y'all see what they look like. But here's this one. Um, I'll do a short. Or I'll try to do a short on the other vid on the other baskets. Um, show you guys what how they look after I wrap them. But okay, guys, I appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day. Um, have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful week ahead. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Okay. Okay, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.